underneath the stairs, and he had that filled with plants too. Daryl Spencer checked on his rental property after a neighbor reported marijuana plants in the backyard. Inside, the retired fire inspector found dozens of other plants and more. Lights and fans and extension cords hanging from the ceiling. The tenant had a medical marijuana license that allowed him to legally grow pot. I was worried about the uh, fire hazard. When Spencer let his insurance company know about the medical grow up, it cancelled his coverage, saying legal or not, it was too risky. For months, he couldn't find a replacement policy. Most basic home insurance policies don't cover marijuana related damages. You can lose everything that you've worked for your whole, your whole life. Under new federal rules, landlords can do very little if a tenant is growing licensed medical marijuana. In fact, they don't even have the right to know what's happening, and that's to protect the grower's privacy. What's most unnerving... This advocate says Health Canada failed to provide clear direction for landlords and insurers. If you're a, a landlord, and let's look at a situation where you, you have a basement suite, a mortgage helper, the reality is that currently uh, you could wake up one morning and you could find a medical marijuana grow up in your basement that uh, you really can't do a whole lot about. Go Public also found while Health Canada put out specific guidelines on how to safely set up medical marijuana grows, it wants local authorities to make sure safety rules are being followed. Problem is, federal privacy regulations prevent local authorities from even knowing where the pot is being grown. More than 30,000 people in Canada have permits to grow cannabis for their personal medical use. This was the area that uh, was the biggest concern. Daryl Spencer eventually found an insurance company that specializes in covering medical grow ops. Coverage is twice as expensive. The federal health minister's office declined our request for an interview. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary. Well, if you want our Go Public team to look into a story, get in touch. Just send us an email at gopublic at cbc.ca.